everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. This is gonna be like a little vlog style video. I'm running down the road in the old tundra, uh, headed out to the property, gonna add to the property maintenance or the property uh, management videos. So we're getting a load of crusher run gravel out there on the driveway because right now we have size three gravels and they're really big like the size of my hand and uh we're afraid that we're gonna have a tire busted you know somebody's gonna pull up and it's gonna end up costing us two hundred dollars you know so, so we're gonna see if we can't get a load of crusher run spread out and then uh, i'll get my buddy jason and i'll buy him some diesel fuel and get him to come out and neaten everything up and all but I am headed from our house down through Adairsville all the way to Kingston. And uh, I'm behind a truck doing 35 miles an hour now. And I need to be in a hurry, so. But anyway, I'll, uh, I'll keep you up to date on what we're doing when I get to the property and the truck gets there. I'll show you what we do. Okay, met with the driver and he's already took off. Dead gum it. <laughs> I was trying to get out of here. I was moving my truck. Hope you can get up there without hitting the power line. Whoa, good lord. Well, you didn't hit it. So, he went all the way, he missed the power line. Good grief, that's nice. So it put there so my buddy Jason ought to be able to come up over his tractor and spread it. So I was worried about these big gravel busting a tire on a car or a light truck. If we get this spread and packed down, I think we'll be okay. Hopefully he can turn that truck around without any problem. So, all right, when I go pay him some money here, we'll uh, we'll come right back. All right, so he was able to put 18 tons all the way from the gate all the way to here. It's probably, what, four or five inches deep in some places, so we'll take the blade and, and tractor and make a nice uh, pack down driveway here. I just don't want to, I don't want to bust a $200 or $300 tire. If somebody's going to do it, it's going to be me. So while I'm here, I'm going to run back here to the back trail cam that I put up because there's a post in front of it and the camera's picking up the post instead of the, uh, the deer. You can still see the deer, but they're fuzzy. So I'm going to run back here and look. Okay. I just had no crap moment. <laughs> I was walking back there just minding my own business. Look at that guy. He's probably two and a half feet long. I don't know what kind he is. Kinda gave kinda gave me a goose there for a second. I better be on I better be on my best careful back here. Go on, go on, get go on. Yeah, trying to get you a rat or something. Go on. Yeah. Boom. Okay. Good Lord. I looked down. I looked down and seen that. Whew. That gets the old bacon moving. Man. Alright. Well, I'm watch right here. I wasn't even. I just looking around. Let's see. Let's go back here. Whew. Lord. Go back here, here's the camera. Okay, here's some old fence posts. Maybe one of the lines looking at. So I'm gonna turn this thing around. This is a uh, Moultrie camera. Let me, uh, let me put you up here and I'll turn it around. All right, so I decided to move the trail camera to another tree 
so I can see right down the path. This is a path me and Jason cut the other night with the tractor and the steel. Uh, as soon as we cut the path, the deer started moving. We've got some big does, they fish and drop babies. It's an exciting time. So anyway, I'm gonna walk back up through here and head back to the truck. Hopefully not get snake bit in the first <laughs> way back. That still, that startled me. I haven't seen a snake in a while. But anyway, hope y'all enjoy these kind of vlog style videos. I gotta get back to work. So if you hadn't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, hit that bell, be notified. And uh, there's gonna be some more videos. We're gonna be back out here tomorrow. Hopefully with a wood chipper, if I can go rent one. I'm gonna rent, chip up all that stuff I've been cutting. And that's about it. But until the next video, thanks for watching.